been a part of the American scene since the early 1800s, but now with the increased availability of guns and drugs, gangs have become more potent and far more dangerous. Worse yet, it's increasingly difficult for parents to know the telltale signs. Warner Saunders joins us with a report on some of the signs that your child may be in a gang. Mm -hmm. Mark, Robin? That's right. There are definite signs to watch out for, signs that parents and teachers need to recognize before it's too late. It's an all-too-familiar scene, the tragic aftermath of gang violence. The dead and those left to mourn the dead. Puerto Ricans are killing Puerto Ricans. Blacks are killing blacks. Whites are killing whites. Two for the fact is, we're racists losing each other. The gangs stake out territory and leave their signs for all to see and to fear. Bobby is 19 years old and a high-ranking gang leader. They go to meetings and get blessed like on meetings, like every Sundays or Saturdays. And uh, they get blessed up in, in the meeting and stuff. Kids know when they're being recruited, but do parents? Some of these parents at the Von Humboldt School on Chicago's west side didn't know that their kids were being pressured to join gangs. Because I didn't know about this dance group that they were in, like she was saying. And it built out to... Uh, Again, yeah, but Thomas Fleming of the Park Forest Police well, Department we'll knows what parents can be on the alert for. And what we try to do is give simple signs and symbols of gang identification and recognition. Here's what he says you should look for. Changes, sudden changes in behavior, and friends who encourage separation from the family unit. Clothing, is he or she wearing one color or a combination of colors? Jewelry earrings and six-pointed star medallions may indicate gang affiliation tattoos with pitchforks on the right shoulder or other visible locations on the body starter jackets even legitimate items like starter jackets can be a gang sign an example of how the gangs use legitimate items for their own purposes this is a cap from north carolina the university of north carolina However, it's used by a gang because it has a symbol that looks like a V. Okay, this week we're going to talk about graffiti and turf. Graffiti Fleming and, and turf. Officer Joseph Butler are fighting the rise of gangs using an aggressive hey, program of right, prevention Charles. and well, education graffiti? with these youngsters at the Forest Trail Junior High School. Even though um, I'm mostly around gangs every day, it helps me stay away from gangs. Yeah. Like, I think about this all the time because the gang stuff, it don't make no sense. It, it, 